Welcome back, fellow farmers. I was just off camera doing a little bit of work, and I had a message pop up. It says that the uh, railroad uh, stations raised its prices on onions, so I thought, why not? We'll go ahead and cart some onions. Uh, I did get the uh, field build up. Got that all taken care of. I do have a little bit less money. Um, I bought a windrower because I have plans. Um, <laughs> since I do have the difficulty improvement mod, uh, what I'm gonna do, I will probably upgrade my harvester. I hate to see it go, but I love to see it go. It's time to get rid of the Sampo. Uh, I'll get a bigger harvester. I will turn field 10 into a grass field once that is done and ready to harvest. I'll get the harvest off of that. I'll leave field 11 right here and I will use that as probably my grain field. And field 12 on the far end, I will purchase that field. That will get me started to do cattle production. Uh, I'll go ahead, buy some of the cattle, use the forage mixer, um, get everything I need for the cattle, start to sell milk to the bakery. So that'll be another source of income on a daily basis. Of course, I will have to cart that over there. That's no big deal. Uh, I've got, I don't know, quick count, 12, let's see, that's 2, 5, 7, 12. I've got probably about 15, 16 bales out there and 900 apiece. Pretty good money. So what I'm going to do first off, I will grab the onions out of storage. Wherever I left my uh, cart. Don't know where I left my tipper. Oh no. Where have I left? There it is. Okay. <laughs> I always hate when I forget where I leave my equipment. Had a runaway bale issue. They decided that the uh, road was a better place than the field. So I'll just let those two stay for now. We'll dump off the rye that we have, gather up some onions, sell the onions. Because onions usually don't go for a very high price. They fall kind of like in the same lines of sugar beet and potatoes. Uh, that you don't get a lot per thousand liters, but you just get so much it makes up for it in bulk. And I think the onion storage is the first one here. No? It's these back here. Carrot and onion. Tag that, and we will head out. Probably what we'll do, we'll gather up the bales, sell those off. I'll keep a few for the cattle storage. And I will spray field uh, 10. I think that will put that one at the third fertilized state. So we should get 100% yield off of that, effectively doubling any yield that we have. And that field is soybeans, so... That'll be a pretty good, pretty good bit of income there.
back way into this place? There might be. this say? Furniture, beer. Boards. and flour. I don't know if they'll accept that or not. I wish you could highlight where it actually, where the tip trigger is. Aha. Oh, didn't know that door was going to swing out. Oh, you're going to make me back in here, aren't you? Evil, evil door. Well, I'm waiting on a trigger to pop up. Not bad, almost 8,000. I've always been curious about what that billboard actually says. I'll just leave that there for now. Oh, 
Oh, this is the articulated steering one. Oh, how I hate you. So actually, what I'm going to do, I'll run this over to the shop, I'll sell it, I'll get the straight axle one. I don't want to mess with trying to back that into the uh, bale sail point. I've been playing this game for four years and I never have gotten the hang of uh, backing a, uh, a tipper with articulated steering. Cannot do it. And probably what I might do with the uh, loan that I'm going to take out. I'll probably implement some of the Coon DLC in. I'm curious if I can use a mower in this field over here to our left. That would be nice. That way I necessarily wouldn't have to turn a field into a grass field, but not very realistic. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. Not even going to mess with it. Get out of here. I would have liked to have made it all the way in the uh, sail point, but the 5,000 extra that I would have gotten, I I'll lose the 5,000 for the convenience. I keep adding mods on a daily basis and it keeps changing my store layout and I keep forgetting where everything is at. This all set up and ready to go. I just won't be able to fit as many bales on this trailer.
Alright, we'll probably start by getting these guys out of the middle of the road. Just in case anybody else wants to drive down the street. They might get upset if there's a few bales laying around. I would be. I think what I'll do, I'll keep all the ones on the east side for myself. I think six bales ought to be enough bedding. I still haven't gotten an option to uh, buy any of the storage facilities yet. Granted, I'm only in day three. So for now, just dump those off there. Would be nice to keep a cover over them. Looks like I'll have two extra. I would like to purchase more fields, like uh, field 13 over here. This one is right around a million pounds. And I believe field 9 up there is almost 2 million. So for the time being, I think we'll just stick with field 12 for now. And slowly expand out from there. Oh hey, I remember this place. This is the one with the little kiosk over here. It 
looks like you sell liquor. And really pixelated liquor. And cigarettes. I'm gonna have to ask to see your liquor license. Do you even have such things over? I don't know. Kinda like uh, if you see a still out in the woods, it's best just to keep walking. So I'm just gonna drive on. Curiosity has gotten the better of me in this case and probably won't pay off if I keep poking around. But it is rather odd. You can sell straw, hay, and grass, and also buy booze. I don't see how the two go together, but if it's working for them, hey. Who am I to say anything? Alright, I have to remember not to put it all the way in the cell point this time. And let's hope they don't go flying down the hill. Now, this is where I need a front end motor. Since I don't have one yet, we will just do this. We'll just pretend I ate a can of spinach. Ugh. It's better than getting double money. I, I know, not realistic. I'm picking hay bales up with my hand. But the last time I did this, I ended up getting double money for it. And I'd rather be a little cheaty and unrealistic than get double the money when I don't need it. You come back here. Well, in case you didn't know, the farmer I am playing right now is a world champion bodybuilder. Ooh, and I hear a gold coin somewhere. Oh, I got ran over by the bale. You're being a finicky thing. So with this loan, I am either going to buy a telehandler or another tractor with a front-end motor on it. Because I would much rather, honestly, I would much rather do it that way. Take that back to normal. And while I'm here, I want to find this gold coin. Aha! Ninety-three. See, I knew snooping around would pay off. Don't mind me. I'm just hanging out in your uh, windmill here. I'll leave the grain alone, I promise. I wonder if there's anything else up here. Yeah, I know, I'm very intrusive. I'm poking around people's mills and and digging around in their shops and now I'm walking in their backyard. Yeah, I'm that farmer. I'm that guy. Well, I don't know if there's any more in here or not. I think I better leave before someone shoots me. I know the cow's awful angry. Bye, Cal. Have a nice day. Something tells me there's more ancient coins around here to find. But I pressed my luck. I'm gonna get out of here. I 
I honestly don't know what I would do if I saw some guy just creeping around in my sheds and stuff. I'd probably have to go after him with a pitchfork. This area over here would be nice if I would fork over the money for the uh, timber cutting license. But honestly, I have been too lazy to set up my Satex side panel with all of the forestry equipment. Half of it is set up to my mouse, and the other half is set up to the side panel. And in 15, it was just really cheaty. I mean, you could just get a chainsaw, cut down a tree, clear the foliage, pick it up with a fork and drive it in the lake and get $8,000. Easy peasy. Not a whole lot of work, and you got a whole lot of money. Alright, we'll pick up these last two. That was a bit of a mess. This one doesn't want to leave. I think I'm going to leave this as my dedicated wagon parking spot. Oh, I'll always know where it is. Alright, overall a pretty productive day. We've sold some vegetables, stored some grain, had a poke around the neighbor's yard, found some coins. Not bad. I call this a good day so far. And it's only quarter till six. Alright guys. Till I see you guys on the next one, have a good one.